Welcome, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Cameron Delano, Strategic Architect with F5, and this is the first in a series of videos showcasing the distributed cloud, web app, and API protection setup and demo guide. This guide will help you set up a sample application and provide you the tools to explore the web app and API protection capabilities of the F5 distributed cloud platform. Here in part one, we'll be setting up our virtual Kubernetes environment, deploying the sample application, and configuring our load balancer. So let's go ahead and get started. To start with, we're going to head over to the project repo. Here you will find the full guide with steps for configuring our environment and the use cases we'll be covering later in the series. For this video, we'll be running through path one and showing the steps through the distributed cloud console. For those of you more automation minded, we'll also lightly touch on path two at the end. Now let's take a look at our prerequisites. For this demo, you will need an F5 distributed cloud account, but a trial account will be sufficient. For path one, you will also need the Kubernetes CLI and a web browser. For path two, you will need a Linux host and the Ansible binaries. Let's get started with path one. Once you're logged into the console, the first thing we need to do is click the distributed apps tile and create our virtual Kubernetes cluster. Let's go ahead and do that now. Simply click the add button and fill out the creation form. We give our cluster a name and a description and then click the Select vSite Ref button to assign virtual sites. The vSite Ref is the virtual site reference of locations on the F5 global network where the virtual Kubernetes cluster will be instantiated. Go ahead and select all regional edge sites and continue. Once done, we verify our information and click Save and Exit to begin the creation of the virtual Kubernetes cluster in all F5 distributed cloud regional edge sites. The process of creating a virtual Kubernetes cluster takes just a minute. And after that, you'll be all set to deploy and distribute app workloads onto this new Kubernetes infrastructure. We'll use some editing magic to speed that up a little. Once creation is complete, there are two ways to deploy into F5 distributed cloud services. Using the user interface with F5 distributed cloud console or with a command line interface via kubectl. In this guide, we're going to use kubectl. We just need to download our credential from the console and we're ready to get started. We can head back to the guide for a quick copy of our kubectl command and paste it into our terminal, provide the path to our credential, and hit enter to create the deployment and service. After a few moments, we should start seeing our new app deployment in the console. Click into the virtual Kubernetes cluster and select the deployments tab at the top. Here we can drill down into our deployment and find information on the status of the pods hosting our app workloads. Next, we'll need to make our sample app workload accessible by configuring an HTTP load balancer. Navigate to the load balancer service in the service menu. Under manage, select load balancers and then HTTP load balancers. Once on the landing page, we'll go ahead and click the Add HTTP Load Balancer button to bring us to the form. Here, we need to provide a name for our load balancer, a domain name for our workload, and we need to set the load balancer type to HTTP. Next, we'll add our origin pool. Click the Add Item button under Origins to bring us to the form. Click into the Origin Pool field, and then Create New Origin Pool. We need to provide a name for our pool, and then add our sample app workloads. Under the origin server section, select add item. Next, change our origin type to Kubernetes service name and fill in the form. The name will be star ratings app dot whatever your tenant name is. Next, change site to virtual site and select the all regional edge sites we chose earlier in the demo. Finally, Change the network to virtual Kubernetes on site, and then add item. Now, back on the origin server edition form, change the port from 443 to 8080, then click continue to return to origin pool creation. Next, click add item to add the origin pool to our load balancer. Back on the load balancer creation form, let's take a quick look at our options for security configuration. Currently we see WAF, 
bot, and API protection disabled or not configured. We will be coming back to configure these in future episodes of the series. Now select Save and Exit to create our load balancer. And as easy as that, we're all done with path one of the demo guide. Back on the load balancer management screen, go ahead and click the copy icon next to our CNAME and paste it into a new browser tab. As you can see, our new Star Ratings app is up and running and ready for use. Now, if you're like me and you prefer automation, you're in luck. Everything we just did can be done with Ansible. Let's take just a quick look at path two. By using the playbooks provided in the repo and following the README, you can be up and running with a repeatable as code process in no time. We have now come to the completion of part one of the F5 Distributed Cloud Web App and API Protection Demo Guide Showcase. As you can see, using the guide, you can easily be up and running and giving F5 Distributed Cloud Services a test drive in no time. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you'll join me for part two of this series, where we'll start configuring our web app and API protection use cases, starting with the web application firewall. Take care, and hope to see you later.